Why is Koro Sensei threatening to destroy the world after he destroyed the moon just so he can teach this class? I think that the reason is he just wants to uplift these kids who has been just like outcasted as this reject of society, right? The end class. Ao Chuni. And there was a little bit of a flashback scene where Koro Sensei was in the past. He had like tentacle hair and everything. He looked pretty cool back then. There's a woman researcher saying, at least, you know, um, go teach those children, right? So that's the motivation. But is it simply just to uplift the class, just to make them feel seen? Like, there was that kid, Nagisa, I think, where he believes that nobody cares about him. Therefore, he's just completely willing to, like, sacrifice himself, right? He has no self-respect or dignity for himself or value because no one values him. But Koro Sensei finally sees him for who he is and he's like, oh, I feel like I matter. I feel like it's that kind of story with assassination being like basically the vessel, right? It's just like the, it doesn't really have to be assassination, but that's kind of there to keep like the shown and exciting elements around it. I'm enjoying the premise so far. Let's begin today's reaction. He just chilling in the wilderness. America. Yo, how many times are they gonna mention Mach 20? I swear to God, they've said Mach 20 like 30 times so far between episode 0 and 1. Florida. Thank you, Nagisa. Baseball with the pellets. He has advanced observation hockey, bro. None of this shit's ever gonna fucking work. The soundtrack got cut, bro. Mach 20, guys. What did you expect? Does no one have like a, a silencer on these guns? Oh, he even corrected the storage. That's so BM. How oh, he just moves so fast. He just goes around doing like 20 extra things and then shows up. Grooming. <laughs> it didn't matter. That thing just got, you know, it got corrected and then he left so fast that it just... Nice sensei. Cocky sensei. Hi. Alright. So, it was too slow of a pitch, I'm sorry. Baseball time. Cap. I call bullshit. I think that sensei just create, trying to create an incentive, like a sense of urgency for the kids. I doubt he's gonna actually blow up this earth. Slow pitch. It's a lot of size. Unkillable, unkillable sensei. He was busy drawing. He was drawing sensei though. Oh. Sensei, you're not that slim. Don't lie to me. If he had it correctly. You, you are not this slim. You're cutting the fat off of here. And you're sparkling too? Okay, bye-bye. Bye. What sport is he gonna watch? Baseball? What's popular in New York? Food. Pizza. And I don't know. I don't know shit about New York. Uh, Times Square. That's not a food. Uh, Gabagu. My man just wants a white girl. <laughs> we got Connie over here. He just found a blonde beauty from New York. He a milkman. Is there no blonde girls in our class? Maybe he just wants an American girl. Oh, hey. Defense minister. 
Yeah, there's a blonde girl right over here. Yeah, well, but you know, Japanese blonde versus American blonde, I guess. You're expecting too much from these kids. Damn. Also, yo, lurch. <laughs> I, I, I ignored the first couple uh, w uh, situations when the character's background literally just looks like fucking Sims models, but this is now like the seventh time, so I'm like, come on, man. But um, it's looking like the students just have super low self-esteem. They're like, yeah, what do you expect? We're just the E class, and you know, how could we possibly figure it out? Right? So it's just like, I'm sure that's part of the lessons too for Sensei to make them realize that, you know, you have self-worth. You should like, have some self-respect. Mach 20 mentioned again. Oh, you bring in popcorn. Yeah, due to that girl researcher. <laughs> Definitely not suspicious at all. No, everyone is very sus of this guy. Right, he just wanted to watch baseball. Maybe Shohei Otani's point. Just to create a sense of urgency in a deadline, because if that didn't exist, then the kids won't be motivated to accomplish this goal. Girl scientist. Baseball guy, he's so depressed because of his pitch. How are we gonna uplift him, man? Coconut? Biting a coconut open? <laughs> Mach 20 mentioned again. No, anymore? Mm -hmm. We're just excluded, segregated. Like, <laughs> It's crazy because like, it's not like these guys are the stupidest of all of Japan. It was said that they were pretty much the lowest performance of a very high performing prep academy. So you're already above average, I think, if you're at least like bottom tier in a super prep academy. But like that alone was like, nope, you're going to be segregated now and put in this, you know, middle of fucking nowhere. It's like, what? That's so excessive. Mm. How fast was the pitch? <laughs> so his like skill issue, couldn't get a single strike, right? Just everybody just running fucking homers off of it. I mean, maybe he should fucking practice more. But that self confidence then just goes down. Now he gets depressed, can't study no more, flunked out. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I think I think Kono Sensei is helping him. He's he's like doing fucking uh, what's it called? Massage therapy, right? We're gonna fix him up, and he's gonna be able to pitch better after the therapy. <laughs> Secret training. Why does Nagisa's? Say, why are they so wide? This kid actually has the Mewtwo build. Like, this this area is just so fucking wide. <laughs> like, your body type doesn't match Arita. So you pop copying his pitch is your downfall. Don't copy him. It's okay. This is not like a depressing news. It's fine. This is simply the truth. But you must now figure out your own way to pitch, and then maybe you could surpass him instead of imitating him. No. Because he's here at the school after not being able to strike out a single time, and his pitch was also fucking ass doo doo butter. No, Sensei didn't say that. He just said that what you're doing right now is impossible. But there's alternative solutions. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> he did the same shit to encounter such a situation when I was pitching in a good condition. What the hell was it? I'm embarrassed since my teammates make fun of me saying Japanese hentai. <laughs> jokes bro they make tentacle hentai jokes from the newspaper and my wife gave me meaningful comment i envy you are you reading this my wife gave me a meaningful comment i envy you yo the wife freaky what the fuck is this little easter egg yo arita's wife is fucking freaky <laughs> Oh, even <laughs> He'll never watch those tentacles again. You have your own talent, though. That Ar Arita doesn't have. There we go. See? You can do your own way, bro. Don't copy. Okay, don't use the word fondling when you're touching children, okay? What the fuck is going on, Sensei? There we go. Figure out a new pitch, Arita. The craziest shit would be that Sensei just straight up lied to this kid and his wrist and elbows and whatnot is actually not as flexible. But simply by this kid, like, assuming that it is possible, like a placebo effect, he starts to believe in himself and he creates his own solution. That's, I mean, it works too, right? <laughs> Sensei was fine with that little bird plopping on his head. All right, we need like to strap up a bird like this that's all, all innocent and cute with like a fucking grenade with those pellets. Sensei would never see it coming and boom, bro. Like literally last episode's tactic where Nagisa was the bait. No, nah, just use the bird as the bait and blow him up. Ma no, but if we, it's again, like a once a month, right? He molt. That's like a special get out of jail free card. <laughs> Aww. Koro sensei would. He ain't most teachers. That scene again. I wonder if this sensei, I'm uh, sorry, this researcher girl has family in this class. Like, why would she care about this specific class, right? Maybe she was involved with the whole segregation of creating the end class and she felt bad about it. There's some connection there, though. It can't just be random. What might be even more impressive, besides him being moving at Mach 20, it's not only he's moving fast, his brain is also processing speeds at Mach 20 to be able to grade at this speed, you know? Like, it's easy to just move around and just do this shit if you're super fast. But there's, like, intent with each move, meaning, like, his brain is also moving at that level. Why is he eating the pen? Interesting. I mean... It definitely makes sense why these kids would be so suspicious of Sensei of like, why are you like going out to help us this much, right? Aren't you supposed to be like an evil alien that's gonna blow up this earth because you blow up the moon, right? Definitely I'd understand why the kids are like, really? Are you actually a good person? I think that Sensei is a very good person. And the whole blowing up the fucking earth is just, again, just the restraint created for the kids to have like a sense of urgency to accomplish a goal together. Oh. <laughs> Breaking ball. <laughs> because the flexibility. Now his special pitch is a breaking ball where the ball just. Mewtwo body. Alright. There's no way we can. <laughs> what a crazy line. Can you come out here for a second? I need to kill you. Wait. 
I want to try killing you for a bit. Like, what a crazy line. Like, imagine just showing someone this fucking frame of anime to someone that's never watched anime before. What would they even think? 32 out of 50. Tsukino <laughs> ankle, like 32 out of 50, you barely fucking pass, bro. <laughs> You're literally like seven points away from being like 50% and, and you know, just one off that that's just a fucking failing. I mean, I, I guess there's progress made because he was just completely failing before. <laughs> All right, Sigino has been corrected. Next student. Penguin snow machine? Like a shaved ice machine? <laughs> Date. Sensei, you know it's Cap. Mm -hmm. Too fake. Damn. Smooth. <laughs> oh. Well, that's for that purpose, isn't it great that you grew these flowers for these special moments? Whoops. That's so fucked up, Koro Sensei. Plant them. Nah. Well, when it comes to his students, he's a big baby, right? He wants to care for them. So, like, I mean, there is kind of ways to, like, emotionally manipulate Sensei, I guess, to keep his guard down, right? I mean, right now, I feel like his guard down, guard is pretty down if we just have some kind of clever plan. He's a nice guy. Delinquent room. Monster. So, like, we've already seen before with different factions, I think. Like, I mean, not really, but just kind of interesting to see, like, the different, like, groups that exist in this school. And, like, this is, like, the delinquent side. Like, this guy just has the shittiest face. But I think that even if they seem shitty, like, the purpose of this anime isn't to just admonish the shitty kids, but to, like, correct them and make them feel, like, included and for them to, you know, develop, right? So... I guess that these students are gonna have some crazy development, maybe, compared to some other characters where they're not really so far gone. Note taker. Yeah? Gets his guard down. Three meters tall. That's the character profile. We're building up the lore. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the classroom of the elite right here. Oh, shit! PE class. What is this guy, bro? Like, that's crazy. This is the principal of a junior high prep school? And he seemingly is, like, one of the most important persons in the world. It's like, this guy has more clout than the fucking, like, prime minister of Japan, bro. I don't know. He seems super fucking important, right? Because, like, this is the school that we were, like, kicked out from, right? And, like, in this situation, like, this dude has more authority, more powers, right? Because, like, the defense minister is literally going there to, like, talk to him and, like, reassure him what the plan is. So, like... All right, it seems like this guy's gonna be like the final boss of this show. Still not looking at us. Would have loved to see like, <laughs> like a wine glass, or he's like shaking like this, or like petting like a fucking Persian cat or something, like some comically evil villain shit that we see in Beyblade or like Isekai shows with demon lords. Something's odd, isn't it? No meals, filthy toilets, ew. Yo, can't these kids just straight up just fucking drop out of the school and go to a different fucking school? Because again, like, this is like a top prep academy, but if you're like last place, you get sent to the fucking end class, but it's like, why are we staying there? Can we not just fucking leave and go to a different fucking school? What a fucking society, man. I mean, I guess this is better than, like, just people... I, I don't know. Like, like, there's something very dystopian about this, right? It's like children... 
uh, yeah, they're young adults now, I guess, right? Junior high, high school kids, right? Teenagers, young adults, but their entire purpose is just study, 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 right? Be competitive, competitive, competitive. I mean, that is just nature of society. But something about this very just doesn't look good. Fuck this school, bro. I want to go hang out with Koro Sensei. <laughs> This cute little chestnut mascot is the mascot for this elite school. Okay. Paid actors, bro. Fucking everyone is a paid actor right now. All these children are held at gunpoint to say these things. Everyone is equal. Yay, we're so happy. Again, I don't think everyone's too happy here, bro. There's something sinister amongst us. Everyone is equal? I don't think so. As long as you're getting the top grades, I guess. But at the end of the day, this whole system is created so that you step over others. Mm -hmm. so make an example out of them. Right. It's basically like, look at them. Look what happened to them. You know, this is going to happen to you if you don't, like, figure it out. I wonder if they're... I, I, and us at the end class, I guess, we're, like, contractually bound to like stay there i'm not sure but it's that pressure that incentive and then i think in the same way blowing up the earth right it's the same kind of pressure right uh, to just like get the kids to accomplish the goal of assassinating nah they're chilling it's way more wholesome out here very cute running the spot <laughs> I thought they were playing some piñata shit, but basically you just hang up and like, yeah, come on, get me if you can. <laughs> it's that easy. It's hard, man. What are you supposed to do? Mm. Mach 20. Branch is gonna break. Get him. Don't back down now. He gets cocky, right? Yep. He does have some weaknesses, right? When he gets cocky and arrogant, right? And then after that, he, he makes a blunder. Then he loses his composure, creates even more opportunities. Fundamental capabilities? Yeah, ain't no fucking junior high kid jumping up there, bro. How the fuck are we supposed to do that? <laughs> you good? What? Why? Small minded. He's pretty childish. <laughs> Everyone united under the single one goal of 10 billion yen, bro. Yay! Look at this. This frame is hilarious to me. Just a bunch of kids with like deadly weapons. I know it's not deadly for humans, but like guns and knives. Yay! We're so close to getting 10 billion yen, guys. So happy. But it's looking like kids here are way happier than back at school, huh? It's like all the kids are being united and they're being uplifted toward this common goal of assassinating Sensei. So like you could assume that Sensei is basically putting himself as like a sacrifice, right? Like obviously he is in control of power, but by him, by him making himself out to be kind of like the villain, like the ultimate goal, creates everyone to work together, right? More things to just like uplift and have everyone experience like community effort and happiness and a sense of belonging or back at school, right? None of that shit's ever happening. <laughs> Complete contrast. Remember, Nuru means slippery. Uh oh, someone else now knows. Who is this person? Suspension. Another student? Hmm, new character being hyped up right now. <laughs> to kill a teacher? 
殺してみたかったんだ。うーん。I'm not buying it. Way too tuny, bro. Motherfucker acting like he's all that. This hardest motherfucker. You're like 14. You're talking about wanting to kill a teacher. So he got suspended for doing heinous activities. He's got left out, but now he's unsuspended. Now he's getting a brief down of what's going on. All right. Let's see what he's really all about. Let's see if he lives up to the hype or if he folds immediately and gets corrected. Okay. And that is today's episode of Assassination Classroom. Quite slice of life like, right? Trying to establish the whole mood in the atmosphere. And I get it, right? They're now showing us the actual other school where the other kids are from, the dynamics, the environment there. It's terrible, right? Because it's just like this step over others to get to the top at what, no matter what cost, because if you don't, then you're going to be sent to, you know, the end class, and it's really bad. The whole chestnut mascot was also pretty funny, just trying to act all cute and innocent, but at the end of the day, just like, nah, bro, it's not fucking sunshine and rainbows here. Two, two new characters shown, right? The principal is pretty fucking hype. I don't know, the, he, we didn't get to really see his face, he didn't really say much, but he exuded aura without even looking at us. And then the character at the end, who is again this kid who was suspended for doing some bullshit in the past. He's supposed to be like the edgiest student for the end class, and he actually wants to try killing, you know, Sensei. So maybe he's really gonna spice things up starting from next episode and beyond. That's it from me. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content, and until next time, take care.